All right, so I have a question in my mind. Is Motorola's OX better than stock Android? And before you go all in the comments, Hold on, listen to me. Like whenever we talk about Android experience, there are three main types. A, software with bloatware and ads, Realme UI, Funtouch OS and all of that, Mi UI. B, clean stock Android, no bloatware, but not that many features as well. C, Samsung's One UI has many features, but on the premium versions. And then there is Motorola's My UX, which is somewhere in between Pixel and Samsung. It is basically stock Android with good extra features. And the best part is you can get these features even on older Motorola phones like Moto H30, Moto H30 Pro and some features also works on their budget Motorola series like Moto G73 etc. And no, I'm not talking about features like chop chop for flashlight or twist for camera. I'm talking about rather new and improved features. And I know, I know, before you go out and comment, of course, not everything is good about Motorola software. We'll talk about that too. So stay tuned till the end of the video. LFG. Let's freaking go. All right, first up is a simple feature, but very, very useful. Let me show you what it does. So see here, I lock my phone. And now if I go to unlock it, it is asking for my pin. That's normal. But now if I lock my phone again and unlock it, See, the position of the numbers are different. So how did I do it? Hmm. Simple, Moto has this new feature called Pin Pad Scrambler. All you need to do is go to Moto Secure. Over here, you have Pin Pad Scrambler. Just enable it. And now every time you lock your phone, it shuffles the number position. Very handy if you have kids or if you are with friends and they can guess your pin by remembering your keystrokes, that won't work anymore. And speaking of kids, Motorola has also implemented this new feature called family space. Okay, so I'll give you like a personal example. I have a five-year-old niece and every time we give her the phone to play games, she keeps playing on it for hours and hours. But now with this new feature, I can set a timer and the phone will automatically lock. Here, let me show you. So I can go to family space. I can add any installed app that I want. I'll add Subway Surfer and Altos Odyssey here. So now if I hit start, see it is asking me to enter a screen time. I'll enter in just 15 minutes. And now you get this new home screen where you can access only Altos Odyssey or Subway Surfer. Also see here, it is showing me how much time is remaining. And once the timer hits zero, there. See, the phone is locked. Also, even if the kid wants to exit this mode, they can't. It will require your fingerprint or the password. So this is a good parental control feature, perfect for kids like my niece who don't have a track of time while playing games. Next up, we have secure folder. And this is exactly what you get on Samsung phones. So I'll just go to Moto Secure and enable secure folder. Now see here, it is asking me to choose a lock type. And this is a separate lock from your phone lock. And now I can add any app that I want. It will create a secret copy of that app. Like, let me show you. Suppose I select camera and I'll click a very secret photo of me. It will store the photo in this separate gallery inside a secure folder. So if I open my normal photos, see, it is not showing that picture. And now if I open secure folder, go to photos, see it is showing me that exact secret picture. And not just that, let me show you something cool. So if I open app drawer, see it is showing me this icon named secure folder. But now there is this option of disguised icon. So I'll select this icon and call it sports. Now if I go to app drawer, see the secure folder icon is not there, but there is this sports icon. And this actually hides the secure folder in plain sight. So another added layer of security. And now, since we are on the topic of security, Motorola has this new feature, Wi-Fi block list. And this is so, so good. Like, let me demonstrate. So I'll turn on hotspot on my Pixel phone and I'll remove the password. So now this is an open Wi-Fi. But now I can go to my Motorola phone and select apps that will not connect to unsecured open Wi-Fi network. For instance, I'll just select WhatsApp. So see, even if my phone is connected to the Wi-Fi, I cannot send or receive messages on WhatsApp because the app is not connected to the internet. And now you'll be like, Radhik, what is the use of this feature? Well, this is very handy if you have banking apps or even if you normally have files, documents, photos, galleries in your phone and then you connect to unsafe open Wi-Fi network in the metro, trains or cafe. That way, some not so good people will not be able to access those apps even if you're connected to the internet. Next up, we have Ready for PC and this has been in Motorola phones for quite a few years now and it is improved quite a lot. Okay, so I have the Samsung TV. We recently did a video on this TV. You can check that out from here. Now, if I go over here and select Ready for, see it shows my Samsung TV over here. And now I get this screen on my TV. I can use my phone's screen as the mouse. So there are four options here. I'll go to mobile desktop and now see this opens on my TV. It is basically like a desktop version of your phone. So you have apps and everything over here and this is a very useful feature. So suppose you have to give a presentation but you don't have your laptop or your laptop's battery is down. Hashtag Windows laptop. And if you're getting too ambitious and you want to play games on it, well, 
the latency is too much and there is a lot of lag so maybe this can be updated with future software updates you can even get this feature on your windows pc or laptop so you can basically have this mobile desktop on your pc but my favorite is this if i click on file transfer it instantly open up my mobile storage on my computer see how fast it is and i can simply drag and drop files you don't even need a usb cable for it it is so seamless and here is a cool one so see this laptop's webcam is not so good but now in ready for i can use my phone's high quality camera as a webcam this is very useful in situations now as far as i know ready for only works in moto edge series but few g series also have wired ready for but i'm not sure so if you are using it do comment below so it will be helpful for everyone and here's another cool feature that you get only on iPhones and Google Pixel but now you can get on any Motorola phones so you have something called quick launcher you can set any app over here i'll just set it to youtube because youtuber and now every time i double tap on the back of the phone see it opens youtube now you can even change this to some other settings so for instance i'll set it to screenshot and now every time i do this see the phone takes a screenshot this feature is so so handy and finally peak display now motorola phones are criticized for not having always on display like this motorola edge 40 here this has an oled display but no always on display rather motorola has something called peak display so every time you get a notification uh, or if you move your phone slightly see this display pops up and i for one prefer it over always on display for two reasons first this is interactive so suppose i get a whatsapp notification i can simply hold on to the whatsapp icon and it shows me the text over here now i can mark it as red if it's useless or simply dismiss it on other phones with always on display you cannot do that without unlocking your phone and second you get this peak display even on lcd phones so even budget phones like motorola g62 and motorola g51 all of that which sells for under 15000 you will get the same peak display feature on those phones as well so see for the past 2 years motorola has been working a lot on features and the os so yeah i would definitely say motorola's my ux is highly underrated but of course not everything is good with motorola take moto s30 for example a phone that came out early last year is now receiving android 13 updates when android 14 is about to launch so motorola can really work on the android update speed like don't push updates faster and then keep on adding bugs that's not good but at least ensure like within three to six months of the new android release cycle most of the phones get those updates so let us know in the comment section which of these features do you like the most on motorola my ux on that note this is signing off see you in the next video pew pew, pew, pew.